Hi, this is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California. Proverbs 17, verse 6 reads, Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children is their father. Many years ago, I first heard a song written and performed by the music artist Neil Diamond that touched my heart. It was a song about an old man, a carpenter, who labored at the making of a large dinner table that his family could sit around together and share their lives and laughter with one another. It was an oaken table that he made with his own hands, imagined and built by him, and it was held together, as the song goes, with nails and pride. On its inside, the carpenter had simply engraved the words, For my children. It would seem obvious that the table, at least to the old man, had a special meaning, in that it represented his family, and it was part of the legacy that would be left to them. To this old man, it had a very special value. It was a great treasure that would one day be left behind when he had gone. In the course of the song, we are told that one day the old man died, and that when he died he was all alone. The legacy that he left was embodied by the table he had built, rich with his memories etched into his soul. So many meals, so many stories, so much laughter. Surely his children and his children's children would treasure such a gift. Yet as the song comes to its sad conclusion, we are told that the old man died, but not one of his children claimed the table, and none saw it as their daddy's greatest gift to them. Ultimately, the words that he had carved became his epitaph for my children. What are we leaving our children and our children's children that has eternal value and deep meaning? A more personal question that I have asked myself is, what is my legacy? I think of this quite often as I realize that my life is simply a vapor and that one day I will depart to a better place that has been prepared for me by Jesus himself, the master carpenter. I've told my children over the full extent of their lifetime that the most valuable thing to me is their service to Jesus and their faithful communication of faith in Him to others, especially their children. There's nothing more valuable than faith in God. And when a child lives for Jesus, it ultimately brings glory to their father and joy to the grandparents. May we who are parents and we who are grandparents value the things that actually matter. And may we, with all of our efforts and faith, do our very best to give to our children that which will bless their children a faith in God through our Savior, Jesus Christ. May we rejoice to see our children's children serving Jesus. And may they value what we have valued. Ultimately, our faith in God is not just personal, but it can and must be communicated to them for their own blessing. Our love for Jesus and faith in him is much greater than any symbolic table, and in some ways I, as an older man, can rightly say concerning my faith in Jesus that it's the most valuable thing that I have, and in many ways it's the greatest legacy I can give to my children and grandchildren. In many ways it's a faith that is lived out for the blessing of my children. May we all live in such a way that others will see the blessings and benefits of living for Jesus, remembering that our faith is not simply for ourselves, to enjoy, but also to be passed on to those we love. This is David Rosales, pastor of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley.